tonight. My name is Big Bombed Boy, and welcome. PvP is going to be a big part of SOD. Let's go over it. Like, all, all of it. All the classes. We'll talk about and rank each one on their PvP viability at 25. Or I guess I shouldn't say viability, because honestly, every class is going to be viable in SOD PvP. I'll just tell you that right now, for free. The main types of PvP that we'll be seeing at 25 is... Warsong Gulch, Ashen Vale PvP. There's no arenas here, there's no AB, there's no AV, that stuff comes later. But I will make some notes on classes that are especially good as 1v1, because you'll be seeing that a lot if you're on a PvP server, and you can run into that in Ashen Vale or Warzong. Final point before we get started, this is pre-release, so things will change, especially runes, and everyone is going to do a lot more damage. Everyone. And by like an ass load, globals are going to be pretty common. Sounds fun to me. Alright, let's look at melee first. Rogue. Damn, I love Rogue. I probably played Rogue the second most in Classic, but a lot of people are dooming on Rogue at 25 and putting it at Dumpster Fire tier. It's not. It's fine. Rogue is fine at 25. Rogues were alright in the 19 bracket in Warsong, and compared to that they gain Crippling Poison, Mind Numbing Poison, Distract, and Vanish. That's some pretty important shit. Your rune choices are also really good. You could put on your tank rune for survivability, though it's not as good as the Warlock or Shaman tank rune. You have quick draw for a ranged slow or slaughter from the shadows so you can pump out ambush right into backstab or even mutilate. And there are some dope daggers to facilitate this. Meteor Shard from SFK, and there's level 25 versions of the Warsong Gulch rep gear, which includes a dagger. On that point, pretty much every class spec will have a good weapon option, either through Warsong Gulch gear or BFD gear. Now, yes, you are missing key abilities as a rogue, like Cheap Shot and Kidney Shot and Blind. Those are huge, but every class is missing vital abilities at this level. Fucking level 25. And you can slot between the eyes on legs if you really think you're going to get a lot of use out of Kidney, but most targets aren't going to live that long anyway. Your issues as a rogue in this bracket is getting to the target. You do have Sprint, and you do have Vanish, so that helps a lot, but they are long cooldowns. So you could slot Quick Draw to mitigate this, or slot in Shadow Strike to completely avoid it, because it's a 25 yard range, although it does require stealth. Oh yeah, did I mention you can also have Thistle T. Shadow Strike to open, Backstab, T, Vanish Ambush. Almost nothing can survive that. You're good at 1v1, you're good at Warsong Gulch. The only place Rogue suffers is big group battles in Ashenvale, but honestly, not that much. Just don't run into a big group and die. Your job is to pick people off, then go back into stealth. But, your stealth speed is set to geriatric. Rogues are good at this level. Maybe this is a hot take, but I'm going to put them into amazing tier. Warrior. This is unfortunate. Warrior is a really fun class in Classic, but it's not that great at low level PvP. The new runes do help, but it's still not really going to stand out here. Most people put Warrior at the bottom in the 19 Twink bracket. You do gain some seriously good abilities from there. Retaliation at 20, Intimidating Shout at 22, and Execute at 24. That stuff really does help. Maybe you can give a melee every 30 minutes with Retail. But you also don't really get any runes that are really, really going to turn things up at this level. Warbringer is great, but you don't have Intercept at this level. You don't even have Berserker Stance. And you're, you're just not going to get intervened at all unless it's added in another rune later. But it's not all bad. This arm is really good. Intimidating Shout is really good. There are going to be some good two-handed options as well, so you'll be able to do a lot of damage with Quick Strike if you can get to your target. Warrior can be fun in Warsong and group PvP. It's just not all there yet, and 1v1s are a little rough. I think they should shuffle some warrior runes around. There's some interesting things they've already talked about, like Gladiator Stance. Warrior really just needs one or two better runes at 25, and they would jump up a lot. Warrior is not a dumpster fire, but it's going into the okay tier. We're going to move on to casters, but one thing to cover before we do, it's very easy for melee to get a new weapon and see a huge damage boost. Casters don't really do that as much. There's like no spell power gear, but... Some of the new gear does have spell power. It's already really hard to say how much damage classes are going to end up doing. Add on the fact we don't know what kind of gear there is, 
it's really goddamn hard to say for sure how much damage casters are going to do. But I would expect all casters to be doing noticeably better compared to original, just based on the fact that they will have much better itemized gear instead of random ass spirit on everything. Mage. Mage was not the best at low level PvP in original. It is fucking light years better in SOD. First, you got the better gear. Second, compared to the 19, you gain a blink, blizzard, evocation, and counterspell. Yeah, that is some extremely impactful shit. At this level, Mage probably has the best CC kit. Frost Nova, Poly, Counterspell, and you can even get Cold Snap at this level. Fingers of Frost, Ice Lance, and Icy Veins give you a full set of dedicated Frost Runes. That's probably your best bet for all PvP, especially solo, but I guess that's not really surprising. However, it is possible you might want to drop one of these runes for one of your heal runes to increase survivability. That'll take some testing. Fire and Arcane also look not bad. I probably wouldn't roll them in BGs, but in big Ashen Veil fights where you're less likely to get focused, they could do a lot of damage. But you can also get Pyroblast at this level, so you can play around that if you want. It wasn't uncommon to see hardcast Poly, then hardcast Pyro to one-shot people. It's likely you can put together a build to play around that, maybe combo it with Arcane Surge. And Mage Healer also looks pretty solid. You have three heal runes you can slot in. It's going to require some playing around with. And Mage Healing has already been changed on the build updates, so we don't know for sure how it's going to be. But there's definitely potential here for a really fun hybrid spec, probably arcane based, if that's what you're into. However, Mage has one huge issue that is exacerbated into dinosauric dong sized proportions at this level. You are extremely squishy, like insanely squishy. You don't have Ice Block. You don't have Ice Barrier. You've got Mana Shield. That's about it. You are going to be one shot a lot. Maybe I should say globaled. But other than that, pretty, pretty good. They're going in the pretty good tier. Warlock. Well, <laughs> this is easy. You know where Warlock goes. All right. So, originally Warlock was a dumpster fire at these low level brackets, probably even worse than Warrior to most people. That's not going to be the case here. Commander the 19 bracket, you gain Eye of Killrog, hell yeah. But also, summon Succubus and Hellstones. Hellstones are really nice for PvP, that's true. And of course, Warlock also has Fear, so it's an okay CC kit at 25. Now, Succubus would be really nice, except Seduce is level 26, so the Simps are going to have to wait until the next phase to use that. But the log runes are where it's at. They are phenomenal. And you have two options here. The goddamn unkillable Demon King is the first. Metamorphosis will make you unimaginably tanky. This will probably end up nerfed in PvP somehow. Because you can just instant drain life. And Searing Pain is instant while transformed. You can still Voidwalker Pet Sack for shield. And you can get Fell Dome. You could literally just jump around spamming instant casts while transformed. And basically never lose a 1v1. Now, in a group situation, the spec is okay, but it doesn't seem like you'll be doing insane damage while transformed. And this will lose a little bit of its strength later on, I think. Other Warlocks could just banish you. And Paladins might be able to turn you. In Classic, it's undead only. But later on, it was changed to Demons as well. Exorcism gets its benefits for Demons, so they may give them turn evil. It's possible. Metal Lock will probably stay really strong in 1v1s, but it's going to fall off in group PvP pretty quick, I think. Of course, if you want to do insane damage, you can... Chaos Bolt. Jesus Christ. So Warlock goes in the amazing tier. Shaman. Shaman looks... extremely interesting. I was probably going to play Alliance, but Shaman is pulling me. Shaman was alright in the 19 bracket. Not amazing. Now moving to 25, you do gain some good stuff. Ghost Wolf, LHW, Frost Shock, and Water Breathing. Shaman also got pretty lucky with their runes. I'm going to break them down by build. So Enhance. I really like Enhance, but I probably wouldn't bother with it at 25. You don't have Storm Strike. You don't have Wind Fury. You can dual wield, and that's cool. And Shamanistic Rage is also really good in PvP. But Lava Lash has never been very good. And you're just missing a lot of your damage tools at this level. I would probably skip it. 
Elemental though, Overload is really strong. The copied spell is 50% damage, but it works with Lava Burst now. Yikes, that is some insane burst potential. And you can grab Shamanistic Rage for this third slot for the mana and the defensive. Or you can spec into Heavy Survivability, swapping Shamanistic Rage for Way of Earth. You can even drop Overload for Shield Mastery and spec into M Shields and grab M Ghost Wolf. That would make you extremely hard to kill and your damage would still be good. The only real issues are getting locked down by melee because you do need to hard cast and potentially mana. But there's a lot you can play around with at Elemental. Even at level 25, it's pretty nice. Now, Healing Shaman is, well, it's good. It's always been pretty good. But you have a lot of options here this time if you want to spec into more healing, more survivability, or even more damage like Lava Burst. I would put Shaman in a pretty good tier as well. Paladin. Paladin, similar to Shaman, was also good in the 19 bracket, even if not at the very top. Compared to that, they gain Exorcism, which could be good against Locks, and uh, Flash of Light, that's not bad, and uh, Turn Undead, I guess that turned into Turn Evil could be okay. Uh, Alright, <laughs> seems like Paladin doesn't get shit in here, but it's not as bad as it seems. Paladin actually gets a lot of its stuff very, very early, so remember you'll have Freedom, that's from level 16. You won't have Divine Shield, but you do have Divine Protection, and you will have Bop, and you do have Hammer of Justice. But it's not the max rank 6 second stun, it's 4 seconds, that's still very good. Probably the best stun in the level bracket. Between the Eyes kind of competes, but it's a rune. And you do get Purify, but not Cleanse. Ret could be good, but it's a little weird. Some of their runes overlap. We'd love to have Seal of Martyrdom and Divine Storm. Rebuke, Exorcist, Inspiration Exemplar. I want all three of these. At least the glove rune is more straightforward with just Crusader Strike. So you have no slow, no gap closer, but you have freedom, so that game hasn't changed much. However, you do have good tools once you get to your target. Not much is going to live through 4 seconds of HOJ getting hit by Divine Storm and Crusader Strike. Paladin Healer is also good. I'd say it's about the same level as Shaman. Divine Sacrifice and Bagan Alright are very, very good. They also go in the pretty good tier. Priest. I love Priest. It was my second 60. I promise I won't be biased here. In the 19 bracket, Priest was the best healer and just really strong in general in that bracket. Compared to that, you will get a Racial, Flash Heal, Holy Fire, Mind Vision, and Mana Burn. That's not the most impact, but it's still good. And you do get a new rank of Mind Blast at 24. That's pretty nice. So the runes and new shit. Shadow was already really strong in PvP and Classic, but you didn't really hit the important points at 25, mainly Shadow form. But it still seems pretty decent at 25, you can get Mind Flay, you'll have Blackout for the stun, and the cooldown reduction on Psychic Scream. Your runes give you options for more Mind Flay and Mind Flash damage, or another dot. You can take Barrier for the damage reduction on your Leg Rune, or Homunculi for the damage, although really not sure how much damage Homunculi will do. Your glove rune, you can take fucking penance or shadow ward death. Both are really, really good options, but penance gives you the flexibility to use it as a heal. And while it doesn't matter at 25, later on remember, penance is a disc spell. You could use that in shadow form. Now, I don't think it's confirmed, like confirmed, confirmed. It's there's like a soft confirmation, a flaccid confirmation, if you will. But you might be able to change your priest racials around. So this means you could get devouring plague or shadow guard as shadow, no matter your race. That is pretty strong, especially in a 1v1. Just drop three dots and run away. Devouring Plague, Shadow Word Pain, and Void Plague. I think people are kind of sleeping on Shadow. It actually could be pretty strong here. Its downsides are, well, mana. But anyone with a mana bar has that potential issue in Glazic. But mana can be especially bad for Shadow Priest. Big group engagements are not Shadow's strong suit either. The shorter range on Mind Flay is very annoying here, and if you move into Mind Flay, you're just going to get sniped. Healing Priest. It's also really good, but it was always really good around this level. I would have liked to see something a bit more for survivability, like Shaman gets Way of Earth. You do get Barrier, which is really good, but it's just a cooldown. Priest was already the squishiest healer, and it's even more of a thing now. I think some of the other healers kind of gained ground on Priest here, and I'm going to put Priest in the pretty good tier.
Druid is kind of a wild card, but not the kind of wild card that cuts the brakes on your spy van. Druids might be the best flag carry in Warsong Gulch, although Paladins are pretty good at it too. Druids are very tanky and bare, immune to poly, can break root slows, can cast roots, fairy fire, hibernate, that's all good stuff, and that was all already in place. Their biggest problem in the 19 bracket was they didn't do a lot of damage. Compared to that, you will gain Starfire and Prowl. Unfortunately, you won't get Dash, that's level 26. Add in all this new stuff, and yeah, that's actually pretty good. Feral could do a lot of damage now. You will have Prowl. You can get Wild Strikes to hilariously give your party Wind Fury buff before Shamans can do Wind Fury. That already makes Feral very sought after for group PvP. Or you can take Survival of the Fittest for the damage reduction. 6% crit and 10% damage reduction is not nothing. Then you have Skull Bash for a lunge with an interrupt attached. It's a short range, but only a 10 second cooldown. And then you get Mangle, which should be a lot of damage. I'm not going to say this is like top tier, everyone else needs to bow, but it's a massive improvement and totally viable now. Your only issue is sticking to targets since you don't have a reliable slow like Crippling Poison or Wing Clip. But on the plus side, you are incredibly slippery and you can get a 30% movement speed while outdoors buff from a talent. Boomkin. <laughs> Boomkin. Actually, it looks alright. Fury of the Storm Rage makes Wrath free. Uh, that's really cool. And it can proc instant healing touches. That's weird, but that's actually pretty good. Then Star Surge and Sunfire. It's hard to say how much damage these are going to do in practice. But they do look good. What sucks is you can't get the improved Starfire talent yet. That's pretty important. Now, unless the damage is just insane, Boomkin does look good. It's not OP, but we're not looking at a memes pack anymore. And Healing Druid, it was not good at 19. It was kind of a joke as a healer. It's a lot better here. You get a group heal with Wild Growth. You got Life Bloom for single target healing. Living Seed looks all right. I'm not sure how much crit you're going to have at this level. But you could also just take Survival of the Fittest for the damage reduction instead of Living Seed. Druid just looks pretty solid all around. It goes in a pretty good tier. All right. <laughs> Small digression here, but this shit is too funny to me. The reason I keep mentioning 19 Twink Bracket is it's the best comparison point we have for 25 PvP, and a lot of people have done it at some point, so that gives you a good frame of reference. I hadn't done any since pretty early TBC, so I wanted to research a bit, you know, make sure I didn't misremember anything. I came across this, and this website is fucking hilarious. I thought I stumbled upon some crazy... 2006 argument between boomer gamers on some ancient forums. Then I checked the date. This is from 2019. <laughs> like every post on this forum is hilarious. This video would have been out at least a day earlier, but I just kept reading this shit because it was so funny. What is this theorycraft shit? You were the one begging for me to join your guild. I never kiss anyone's ass in game. ROFL. Fucking pumped. <laughs> I do because you clearly want to have a go at me, but trust me, I smoke too much to care about a game that much. Tongue sticking out face. All the best though. My brother in Hunter Jesus, you are posting about World of Warcraft level 19 twinks on a forum in 2019. Why are you still on my dick getting your nerd friends to back you up with likes? And go reread the thread so you understand how to convo went. Double post. Vanilla nerds, you lot need to calm down. Just enjoy the game. And parentheses, smoke a blunt parentheses, winking face. <laughs> oh, this, this has to be a troll, right? Someone's trolling me. This shit is too funny. Like, everything on this website. It's, it's a master level troll, it has to be. I've never heard of XP off before, but this was the best two days I've ever spent reading random forums about twinks in November 2023. Okay, let's get back to this because I could do this all day. Hunter. HMR gonna HMR. Hunter was fantastic in the 19 bracket, and it just gets better here. You're gonna get Aspect of the Cheetah, Freezing Trap, and Scorpid Sting. Shit. What do the new runes open up for us? Uh, a lot. Like, a lot. So you can pretty much roll any spec you want and be very good. You can go all in on BM. Kill Command is much better in PvP than it is in PvE because it's nice to have a damage cooldown. This makes you one of the few specs to have a 
DPS cooldown at level 25. Even though you're not going to have bestial wrath, pets were already really, really strong at low levels. Add all the pet scaling on there. Yeah, this should be pretty good. But personally, at this level, I'm most interested in marksman. You can grab Lone Wolf, Sniper Training, and Chimera Shot. And you've probably heard a lot of people talk about this already because, well, it just seems really fun. Go camp at one of these new objectives in Ashen Vale and just aim chop from Shadow Meld. Sniper Training will be up, you'll have Lone Wolf. Aimed Chimera in the multi, uh, literally dead. Almost nothing could stand up to that. Or you can keep Chimera but go Lion or Master Marksman so you have your pet for the utility. Although keep in mind, this is a classic pet, so the pet abilities are very limited compared to Wrath. Or you can keep these runes and subspec survival. You lose aimed shot, but you will still have Chimera shot. You gain more melee damage. Remember, we'll probably have the improved Raptor Strike. You get deterrent, entrapment, one point and trap mastery within combat traps. And you can put two points in HP or wing clip. And remember we got Scorpion Sting, so Chimera can disarm. Hunter was already a fantastic Kyder at this level and didn't really have any issue with melee. Now you can Chimera shot for instant damage while kiting. You don't have to stop and shoot. And you've got way more tools for stopping melee. This is kind of insane. What about melee Hunter? Okay, melee Hunter is gonna have a lot of problems. You don't have a stun an interrupt, a silence, a gap closer, and your only movement speed increase is Cheetah. But at this level bracket, all classes are missing big parts of their kit, so this isn't as big of an issue. Your main issue is getting onto the target, like most melee. But if you can get to them, you can probably stay on them, and you still have your normal ranged hunter abilities. So you can kite melee, and then if they get to you, big mongoose and flanking strike, drop an in-combat trap to reset, or if they get the jump on you, you've got deterrence. As long as the damage ends up being good, Melee Hunter is not that bad at this level, honestly. Now, I do want to mention Trap Launcher, because I mentioned this in the other Hunter video. So I say Trap Launcher a lot. I don't really mean Trap Launcher in the literal sense. I just mean ranged traps in some form. So like in this old retail footage, you can see you just throw a trap down. If we do get ranged traps, which is not confirmed, it could totally happen. I would expect it to work like this, not an actual trap launcher like Keta Hunter. Although it is possible we get a rune in the future that just gives us trap launcher. But I kind of expect it to be this kind if it does happen. Hunter goes in the blessed by Hunter Jesus tier because, well, we truly are blessed by Hunter Jesus himself. I know I made Hunter seem really good here. That's because it is. But... That doesn't mean we're just going to literally roll over everything. We can be dead zoned, our pet can be CC'd, there are counter plays you can make against Hunter. And that basically covers PvP meta 25 in SOD. I tried to keep this concise, remember my class overviews for TVC video? That video was a feature length film, I didn't want that to happen again. It's nice to see no one made dumpster fire here. Personally, I think SOD is looking like dope shit, and the PvP is a big part of why I'm excited. I'm obviously maining Hunter. I'm going to try to get everything to 25 in this first phase. But honestly, I think I want to play Rogue for my second most played class. If there's any class you guys are especially interested in, let me know, and I can put that more towards the top. They all seem fun to me, and I'd be down to dive into any of them more if there's enough interest. I put a ton of work into this one. So, if you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button, like button, I believe in Hunter Jesus button, all that other shit. I appreciate each and every one I get. And I'll be streaming an absolute assload of SOD here on YouTube once it launches. Who wouldn't want to watch an absolute assload of SOD? Next, I might be going over the PvE side meta, although I'm pretty undecided. I've got some other Hunter stuff I'd like to talk about. Let me know if there's something specific you'd like to hear about in SOD. But that is going to be all for this one. I really appreciate you all watching, and I will see you all for the next one. We got this in under half an hour. Nice.